pounds. It's hard to believe this is one of the smaller models. You can call it an extreme RV, and it's meant for scientists, explorers, specialty customers who need to take these things seriously off-roading. But also regular travelers buy them, too, if they want to go off the beaten path and if they want to do it in style. Is there any special way to get in this thing? Nope, just climb just in. Just climb in, huh? Wow. This is high up. Yep. You can have a great point of view from up here. This is not your grandparents' RV. It is a global expedition vehicle designed to reach the far corners of the world. Inside, the amenities you might expect to find inside a luxury RV. But this one can be self-sufficient for months. Two power sources. One is solar, the other is diesel. And that powers everything. Everything. Time to take it for a test drive. There you go. Put some pedals in it, girl. All right. <laughs> Act like you know how to drive it. Watch out, people. It feels like learning how to drive again. You can actually give it some gas and go somewhere, too, so. <laughs> you can actually press down on the gas pedal. There you go. I don't know about that. There you go. Just no off-roading on your first drive. No. You know, I actually feel pretty powerful right now. <laughs> Remember, these rigs are designed to go on bad roads or no roads at all, anywhere in the world. Built to be self-sufficient for, you know, weeks and months on the We have lots of different models. We have models for everybody, so you're really talking about 200,000 to over a million. What is the most outlandish thing you've heard from people wanting to buy one of these? Usually, uh, sometimes we get a guy who's like, uh, can I trade my wife for that truck? Seriously, Absolutely. The answer's always no. <laughs> yeah. And we are in back inside the pop-up model. Again, hard to believe that this custom beauty is actually one of their smaller ones, but it is. Some of them weigh up to 40, 50,000 pounds. And they are, again, custom built for clients all over the world who pick out every last detail that they need for their travels, including some major celebrity clients. And I just so happen to get a hold of the keys. So, Ethan, Lisa, if you trust me and you want to go for a ride, hit me up after the show. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun, Emily. We'll take you up on it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to come Well, in. we'll see. <laughs> Still to come from us tonight. We're going to hear about a brand new program in Ozark that's helping new businesses 